In lesson two, we're going to look at situations where um, the original distribution might start as one of our known distributions, so a Poisson or a geometric, or a binomial, or a negative binomial distribution, or sometimes uh, another unknown distribution. Okay, uh, so the idea about the central limit theorem is it doesn't matter what the original distribution of x is, even if x is an unknown distribution, or it's any of the known distributions mentioned above. The whole point of the central limit theorem is that if providing the sample size is large enough, x bar can still be approximated by a normal distribution. So it's this emphasis on considering the distribution of x bar rather than x um, that leads us towards the central limit theorem idea. And again, the sample size needs to be sufficiently large for the estimate process to be a reasonable one. Okay, so the key point when, can, when using the central limit theorem is to make sure you are calculating probabilities relating to x bar. If you're ever calculating probabilities or doing hypotheses testing relating to x bar, then um, you may use the central limit theorem to get the distribution of x bar to approximate to a normal. Okay, um, and x bar will always be used in the context of a normal distribution, um, not one of the others. So in example one, uh, we've got a Poisson setup, okay? So we've got uh, X follows a Poisson distribution, 20 new customers enter the store every minute. So an average, constant average rate of 20 per minute. Uh, part A, calculate the probability that fewer than 15 customers arrive in a given minute. So that's just a normal Poisson question, okay? So get your probability less than 15 off your calculator. So normal Poisson for part A, and then we go on to part B. What we've got in part B is a change of time period. So rather than a minute, uh, we've got an hour. So we need to adjust our lambda value. So 1,200, and then we want to work out the probability of less than or equal to um, 115. Okay, again, you can just use your Poisson function on your calculator to work that out. So it's part C where uh, we use our central limit theorem idea. So use the central limit theorem to estimate the probability that in one hour, no more than 1,150 customers arrive. So this is just an alternative way of doing what we did in part B. And we just need to look at it in a slightly different way so we can uh, attack it using the central limit theorem idea. So um, what we do is consider a sample of 60 observations taken from X. So um, one observation in the first minute, one observation in the second minute, uh, et cetera. So 60 uh, separate observations taken from X. So that gives us a sample size of 60. And then by the central limit theorem, we can say that if we're considering the distribution of x bar of the 60 um, observations, so the mean of how many observations we got in each one minute period, then that will approximate to a normal distribution with a mean of 20, a reduced variance. Remember, the variance for a Poisson distribution is always lambda. Okay, so the variance of x was lambda and then we divide by 60 because we divide by n. So we've got, uh, under the central limit theorem, we've got this normal approximation. Um, now we don't want to work out probability of it being less than 1,150 now. We want to work out the probability that x bar, the average number of observations for each one minute period, so we need to divide that by 60. So we want to work out the probability that x bar is less than um, 1150 divided by 60. Okay, so we work out that probability uh, under our uh, central limit theorem. So just to clarify that, we use this normal distribution to work out 